Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at a very beautiful brand new add-on that is now available on the Blender market. I'm going to put a link in the description where you can find it. And the name of this tool is known as Transportation. This is made available by the guys at Blender now as this is a huge mega pack of high definition vehicles, you know, transportation stuff that you want. This add-on is a bit different from some other kind of add-ons that we've talked about that has to do with transportation and, you know, high definition cars because it does come with some very incredible looking shading parameters and also cool stuff that you can use to manage and also work with your scene. So this add-on does come with 50 high quality models, 60 HDRIs and over 300 backplates that you can definitely work with. If you want to take a look at this, you can simply go over to the link in the description for that. So without further ado, we're going to dive directly into Blender and see what this add-on actually offers. So with Blender open, all you have to do is go over to edit, go over to preference, do all of the installation stuff for your add-ons, click delete the default cube as we don't need that, press N on your keyboard and now you notice we have the transportation stuff right here okay so if you would like to work with the cars or the vehicles that are available right here you can see that there's a truckload of them so you can either choose things like you know the classic ones so from the classic ones you have something like that if you want some suvs you have a couple of suvs if you would like to get maybe a truck you have a couple of trucks and then for the urban you have a couple of urban stuff and at the same time we have some other ones like the planes spots and all that stuff so i'm going to go through and take a look at the classic as this one looks very nice and what we are going to do is let's select the mercedes and click on add vehicle now once you add this vehicle right here you think it's you know you just added vehicle and that's all about it no but cool things happen to cool people and one cool thing that you can do here is you can choose to jump over to eevee just to see what kind of shading you have and if you're not comfortable with this you can actually play with the shading of the car so let's say right here, I would like to make this a red car. I can select red and click on add cappings to vehicle. And right there you have it. If you would like to make some custom changes, you don't like what you have. You know, you want to make some things, you, 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 you know, you just want to make some things look cool. Yes, you can. So you can come over to this section where you have a custom cappings color. And I can say maybe I want something like that. I might want it to be shiny and click on add custom color and you have that shiny one if you want the matte version of this and maybe you want a color like green you're going to have a matte color if you want a metallic one you can also get a metallic one so with this said let's actually add a very simple plane i'm going to scale this plane all the way up something like that and there's also a very cool feature that this also comes with. Of course, we've talked about something like this, but it's very interesting to see that add-ons that create assets or add-on for assets does include this feature. And what I'm talking about is nothing more than the drop it kind of feature that you have here, as you can go ahead and hold down shift and right click just to keep that 3D cursor somewhere on top there. And I'm going to go through and select the Morgan Plus. So because I want this to be created right where the 3D cursor is, I'm going to click on cursor and click on add vehicle. So once we click on the add vehicle, this actually appears right here. So what you can do is to actually snap this to the floor. So we can just simply click snap vehicle to ground and that happens right there. So once you have that going, you might want to make some edits. If this is what you want, yes, you can do that. If you want to play with different kinds of colors and different kinds of car paints, you can also, you know, do all of these things. And it's very interesting to see that there's an add-on that provides all of these things, all of the shading parameters and all of this, you know, beautiful shading functions without you spending so much time trying to reshade or retexture this particular model so something else that also makes a lot of sense is if you scroll all the way down you can add your own hdri so if you go over to this section you can choose if you want an interior hdri right now you see what we have okay that looks cool if you want to get an exterior hdri you can also do that so once you click there is a huge huge set of hdris that you have right here so we can scroll all the way up look for anyone that actually matches what you want and you can select it so once we select the hdri that we want we can click on add hdri and that hdri is going to be applied and of course you can see it changes how the look of the car is let's go ahead and quickly change this from EV to cycles change the device type to gpu and let's get that viewport noising happening right there turn on the adaptive sampling because we want this to happen really quick and with all of this said, we can now easily navigate across and play with the HDRIs that we want. There is literally nothing more that you need from a tool set like this than something that just gives you all of this creative freedom for you to just click, 
drag, drop, and you get whatever you want to create happening. So something like this does make a lot of sense, but then it gets even way more interesting. So let's just believe that we're done making the cars, you know, we're done doing what we want. If you scroll all the way down, you have these parameters to make some changes, but then you also have backplates, okay? So these backplates are actually tied to the HDRIs themselves. So if I switch this HDRI, like right now you notice the kind of backplates we have, so if I switch this HDRI to something like this, click on add HDRI, you would notice that we also have some new set of backplates, all right? You can add as much as you want and also get a huge set of different backplates for every single additions that you have. So for this one, I'm also going to select that. And if you want to run a backplate, you can click on backplate and this is going to give you backplates for you to work with. And for this example, what we're going to do is just press zero on the keyboard so we can switch over to our camera, press home to full the screen, go over to view, go over to the section called lock camera to view. And at this point, we can now position this and look at what we have beautiful. So with the camera fully positioned, what we can do now is with this backplate selected, we can click on add in background. And once we do that, of course, you can see what we have and we can rotate our scene to match up with what we are going for. So let's just position that car right there and then position this one right over here, rotate this and align it about a point like so. So with the back plates and the HDRI out of the way, which by the way, you can choose to rotate your HDRI if you don't want it to be the same way, we have these models. So what can we do? If you're thinking about how you can add shadow catches and stuff like that, yep, you can. So I would simply rotate this HDRI like this. I think I should just position the cars the way I want them to be. All right, and get this one right here. So let's say for this, cars i would like to position them to be about a point like that if i would like to add shadow catchers we can we can just simply click on add transparent shadows to get that going let's switch this over to cycles and see what we have so by simply switching these over to cycles let's get that happening okay so for us to add this transparent shadows what we need to do is select the model itself and click on add transparent shadows so that's all you have to do to get the transparent shadows happening so if you're thinking about how would you match this to your shot stuff like that like the previous example if you don't want to do this manually by setting up a plane and doing that all by yourself you can simply just select the model that you want and go through and add your you know add your stuff and of course with you being within the camera you can also go through and add your backplate so if backplate is also something that you're looking forward to you can add the backplate like the previous one which we had let's just simply go through and update this backplate so we can get something way more believable and yes you have this right there so this is about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course it just makes a lot of sense that you have a tool like this that will get you things from a to z so if you would like to get this tool of course you can simply go over to the link which is going to be in the description where you can actually get it and start working with it. And of course, a huge shout out to the guys at Blender Now for making this possible. There is just a whole lot of things that you can read up and if you're very excited about something like this, you want something that can get you your job done faster, you're looking for something that would not stress you and you just want to get up and running with this stuff, right now you can simply go over to link in the description and get this stuff working. So tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with the tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.